The summer sun poured through the open windows, filling the living room with a warm, golden glow. I was curled up on the couch, having just finished my first year of college, savoring the freedom and lazy days of summer. My mind was filled with thoughts, classes, friends, and the new family dynamics that had come with our parents' marriage last year. I was still getting used to having my stepbrother, Noah, in my life. He was two years older than me, confident and charming, with a natural ease that I both envied and admired, but we hadn't spent much time together yet. I thought about the awkward family dinners, the polite small talk, and the rare moments we crossed paths at home. Today, however, felt different. Noah had just gotten home from work, and I could hear him rummaging through the fridge in the kitchen. The sound of glass jars clinking and the fridge door opening and closing echoed through the house. As I listened to him moving about, a wave of curiosity washed over me. What was he up to? I stood up, my bare feet sinking into the soft carpet as I made my way to the kitchen. When I stepped in, I found him leaning casually against the counter, a towel draped over his shoulder, looking relaxed in his worn t-shirt and shorts. His hair was slightly disheveled, probably from running his hands through it, and there was a relaxed smile playing on his lips. What are you up to? I asked, leaning against the doorway, feeling a flutter of excitement in my chest that I couldn't quite place. Just trying to figure out what to eat, Noah replied, glancing over his shoulder at me with a grin that made my stomach do a little flip. Wanna help? Sure, I could use a distraction, I said, stepping inside. As we started rummaging through the fridge together, I felt that familiar warmth between us beginning to form again. He handed me a jar of salsa, our fingers brushing for just a second, and I felt a jolt of something, something that made me want to stay close to him. After a few minutes of playful banter, we decided to make tacos. Noah took charge, guiding me through the process, showing off his cooking skills with a confidence that made me smile. I watched him as he moved around the kitchen, the way he chopped vegetables effortlessly, the way his eyes lit up when he talked about the recipe. I realized how much I enjoyed being around him, how I found myself wanting to be closer. All right, I need your expert opinion, Noah said, holding up two different types of salsa. Which one do you think is better? I smiled, moving a little closer to him, our shoulders brushing. Definitely the spicy one. It'll add some kick. Noah chuckled, and our eyes met for a moment longer than necessary. There was something in the air, a tension that neither of us could quite define. His gaze lingered on mine, and I felt my breath catch, the world seeming to narrow to just the two of us standing in that small kitchen. When we finished cooking and sat down at the kitchen table with our tacos, we laughed over stories from our childhoods. The atmosphere was easy, filled with teasing and shared memories, but beneath the surface, something deeper was brewing, an unspoken connection that neither of us wanted to acknowledge out loud. After dinner, we decided to watch a movie in the living room. I curled up on the couch, hugging my knees to my chest, and Noah joined me, his presence warm beside me, our legs just barely touching. I could feel the heat radiating from him and my heart raced at the proximity, each tiny shift he made causing my skin to tingle. Are you okay? Noah asked, glancing over as he noticed me fidgeting. Yeah, it's just... It's been a while since we've hung out like this, I replied, my cheeks flushing slightly as I avoided his gaze, my eyes fixed on the television. True, but I'm glad we are. I like getting to know you better, he said softly his voice almost a whisper, his gaze lingering on me for a moment. There was something sincere in his eyes, something that made my heart flutter. As the movie played, I found myself lost in thoughts about Noah, the way he laughed, the way he looked at me, the way he seemed so comfortable in his own skin. It all sent butterflies fluttering in my stomach. I couldn't help but notice the little things, the curve of his smile, the way his eyes crinkled at the corners when he found something funny. Unconsciously, I shifted closer, my leg pressing against his, the contact sending a shiver through me. Do you mind? I asked, trying to play it cool but unable to hide my nervousness. Not at all, 
he replied, a hint of a smile on his lips as he leaned into me. I could feel his warmth seeping into my skin, and it felt comforting, grounding me in a way I hadn't expected. As the night wore on, I could feel the tension between us growing. It was palpable, electric. I could sense his gaze on me, his presence filling the space with something more than just friendship. It was as if every little touch, every glance held something deeper, something that neither of us dared to name. In a moment of courage, I turned to Noah, my heart pounding in my chest, my palms suddenly feeling clammy. Can I tell you something? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. Of course, he said, his expression open and inviting, his eyes searching mine. I've been thinking about us, about this dynamic, I started, my voice slightly shaky. It's weird being step-siblings, but I feel like there's something more between us. My heart was racing as I spoke, my stomach churning with nerves. Noah's eyes widened slightly, and I held my breath, waiting for his response. The silence stretched between us, the tension almost unbearable. I felt it too, he admitted, a smile breaking through, his eyes softening. I just didn't know how to say it. This is all new for me, too, but I can't ignore it. My heart raced as I processed his words, a rush of relief and excitement washing over me. So what do we do? I asked, my voice barely audible, my eyes locked on his. I don't know, Noah replied, his voice low, almost a whisper. But I want to explore this if you're open to it. There was something vulnerable in his expression, something that made my chest tighten, 